What makes the Orton effect so magical in photo editing is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Less than we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello, everyone. All right, so the Orton effect, um, first of all, what is it? Right, so it started out back in the 80s, uh, a gentleman by the name of Michael Orton created this really cool effect where he took two images, same images, and he overlaid them on top of each other. One was soft, one was hard. And they put them together, or sharp, they put them together, and then he did this really cool effect to it. So <laughs> I joke and say it's, it's like a sweet and sour sauce, all right? Um, he did this incredible effect, and this is back in the 80s. And it gave that really cool dreamy type look but at the same time, kept the main element sharp and dynamic. So let me give you a little preview of it. So here's an image of um, uh, this bird I took a while back. Yeah, well, you know what? Let me see the, um, what's the, I shot this at, okay, 5.6. Um, and it was an old camera back then. So I shot it with the uh, Nikon D300, 7200. 5.6, and yeah, notice everything is in focus. It just, ugh, there's nothing to it. There's nothing really dynamic about this image. But watch this. When we apply the Orton effect, look at the change we can do. From this, look at the tree, the bark, here to here. And I went a little heavy just to show, just to show the difference. But look at that. Look at the difference we were able to do. All right, well, let's dive in how we're going to do this. First step, just like we always do, I'm going to come in and I do have to edit the image. Now, I didn't do this earlier, but I'm going to do it now. I am going to do noises because, again, it was shot with a D300. So I fixed the noise. That looks good. Now I'm going to come in with develop. Now I'm going to come in and here, watch this. I am going to use some of the camera settings. So I'm going to use this one right here. And already, look at the difference. All right? Let's enrich the black tones. Bring out the whites. That's it. Highlights. So you're used to this already. So let's bring out a little more of the shadows. All right? So let's see the overall. Here we are before after. All right, so we're off to a good start. And like I said, it looks good, but now let's get creative. So I'm just going to hide these a little bit here, just collapsing them. I'll come down to creative, and you're going to find the Orton effect right here where the glow, the glow tool is. Here they are, Orton, Orton Soft. I'm going to click on the Orton effect, and I'm going to give it just an arbitrary amount. I'll go back and adjust it. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Already look at the difference. Look how it's making that, the, the softness and the sharpness at the same time. But I'm going to dial back some of the brightness in the darker areas. Let's bump up the softness a little bit. I'll go to an extreme so you can see the difference. Look, look, look where how the softening is not affecting the bird. But notice how it's affecting everything around it. And here's contrast. If I want to go with a flat. Or I can go deeper. I don't want to blow up. The, I don't want to muddy up the shadows. So let's just bring it in here, and let's look at the difference. Before, now close. After, let's look at the bird closer. One more time. Ready? Before, after. Look at that. And then from here again, I could adjust it. I could come back in with the masking. Let's say the brush. I say erase the effect just a little bit. Let's say right up in here. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. Yep, I like where it's at. There we have it. All right, so that's what the Orton effect is doing. Now, let's take it a step further. I'm going to combine it with the blur tool. And let's use Gaussian blur. Let's go to an extreme. It's way too much. Let's go right about, yeah, right about here. Subtle, but then let's use a radial gradient. 
And I want to apply the effect to everything but the bird. So right now it's applying it to the bird. Let's invert it. And let's see if it makes a difference. Yeah, look at that. Look how it's just giving me just enough. Because honestly, I, I kind of... That stepped. There we go. Sorry about that one. All right. So um, I wish I shot this at about a 2.8 or even maybe um, an F4. I would have gotten this image looking a little bit uh, sharper the way I wanted it. Or I'm sorry, less sharpened the way um, I have it right here. But look how I fixed it with that simple blur tool. Now that we have that set, I am going to come back in with the essential tools. And let's go to Enhance AI. Good. Ooh, look at this. I just want to bring it out a little bit more. Right about there. Yeah, there we go. And one last thing I want to do just to finish it off. Yeah, I'm not liking a, uh, a color. So let's do this. Let's go to Saturation. I know there's red in the beak. And yeah, that's a little too much. But you know what? Let's, let's enhance it. Let's take the U and change the U of that red. Right about there. Now the orange. There we go. Now I'm bringing it out more. And saturation of the orange. There we go. And of course, watch the eyes now. Look how we're real. Ah, look how we're bringing out those eyes. For. After. Now, here's the thing. I know that there's orange in his feet. Well, I don't want the orange in his feet. So let's go to mask, brush, and I just want to paint the effect here. Let's do at 100%. There we have it. Before, after, there we go. So now we're just going in and just fine-tuning it. Let's boost it up a little bit. There we go. And we're all set. All right, let's look before and after. So here's the original that we started with. Ready? Give it time to process. So there's the original. Yeah, it's okay, but that's what I envisioned when I photographed it. All right. So there we have it. The Orton effect, again, created by Michael Orton back in the 80s, where you're combining two of the images together. Look what our engineers were able to do. The design, the development team was able to take that concept that was really popular, especially in the 80s, and apply it to our uh, one-click tools inside Luminar Neo, all right? Now, by the way, if you don't have Luminar Neo, scan that QR code. This way you'll receive uh, the best price possible. Also, if you already have Luminar Neo, scan the QR code, and that'll give you 10% off anything at Skylum.com, all right? Now, this is a live show. So for those of you that are here, please stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment where you can ask questions about the Orton Effect and we can dive a little bit deeper. For everyone else, thanks, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you at the next Coffee Break.